Okay, uh, welcome back. Um, this is my second uh, video for basic organic chemistry for a biochemist. Um, if you haven't already, please take a look at the esters uh, video first before you go on to this, um, because I'll have done that mechanism in a little bit greater detail. So essentially we have here the video on creation of thioesters, and this is very, very similar to creation of alcohol esters, um, and it is condensation of an acid with a thiol. Okay, and so here we have a carboxylic acid and a thiol, general. And again, in this um, video, I'm going to use the convention of, oh, sorry about that, I'm going to use the convention of two dots um, uh, uh, representing two electrons being um, shortcutted with this dash. So when you see in my diagrams here a dash between two atoms, that's two electrons in a covalent bond. When you see um, dashes like this, these are two electrons in um, a non-bonding pair. Same thing here with the sulfhydryl on this um, thiol group. Okay, those are non-bonded pair of electrons. Here's a bonded pair of electrons. Okay, and just like um, alcohols, OH hydroxyl groups, um, thiol groups, SH groups, are very, very similar. If you look at the periodic chart, you'll see that sulfur is directly below oxygen in the same column. And what that means is that they uh, have the same number of electrons in their outer valence shell. And that means, essentially, they behave chemically um, very similarly. Last time I discussed about the polarity of the carbonyl carbon and how that's got a positive polarity. And like the alcohol here, the thiol sulfur atom has a negative polarity. And so this is this basic difference between um, the electron-rich atoms and the electron-poor atoms is what drives this reaction. So again, we're going to have a nucleophilic attack of this thiol group on the carbonyl carbon. Again, that's going to try to form a, a bond here with this carbon atom. We would have five bonded carbon if we don't open up one of these bonding electron pairs and make them a non-bonding electron pair. And so we get a very similar intermediate. I'm going to um, draw this relatively quickly here. We've got our oxygen, as you recall, that has a negative charge. We've got our original OH group of the carboxylic acid unchanged. And this time, we've added a bond from one of these non-bonded electron pairs. We've added that to the carbon, so now we have a carbon-sulfur bond. We have that proton here, and we, of course we have the R group of the thiol. And this is one electron short, and so this is going to be positive charge. Again, we can deprotonate the sulfur just like we did on the alcoholic ester formation to create a neutral sulfur here. And that gives us another in intermediate like this. One, two, three with a negative charge. And then we've got O, H, H. And this has a positive charge. And then we've got the sulfur with its two non-bonded electron pairs here, and that's neutral. Okay, so we've got this water that we can eliminate, and at the same time we eliminate that water, we can take one of these bonds here and have it correct the positive charge that would be transferred here. I'm doing this all in one step this time. Okay, and what we are left with then is our thiol ester. And, of course, this is a condensation reaction, so we generated water. Okay, and just like we can hydrolyze 
a normal ester, why these back reactions, water nucleophilically attack, the water oxygen attacks this carbonyl that opens up, it generates this intermediate, okay, we transfer the proton back to the thiol, generates this intermediate, and then we can eliminate the thiol and regenerate our carboxylic acid and our starting thiol. So these are fully reversible reactions, and that's the way you form a thiol ester, okay? Um, again, as with normal esters, these thiol esters can be formed with organic acids, as I've shown here, the carboxylic acid, and we can also form inorganic phosphothioesters and, and other more exotic esters. Okay, um, this is basically how you form a thioester and how you hydrolyze it. Thanks for paying attention. I hope this helps.